Hello everyone. Actually, I'm the I'm the worst at starting these vlogs, but here I am again, trying to start <laughs> for everyone. Um, welcome back to our next episode of the Art Vlogs. We have two guests here. What's up? And so let's see. I guess can you guys just tell us your name? Yeah. Uh oh, I'm True, uh, co-founder of Trap Sushi. I'm Stephanie, co-founder of Trap Sushi. Okay, that's right. We have the co-founders. Uh, so we have Trap Sushi here yeah. with us. Yeah. yeah. So we have Troop and Stephanie. Um, and you guys, and the craziest thing is, so Trap Sushi, first, I guess, tell us what is, tell us what, what is Trap Sushi? So Trap Sushi is, uh, um, it's a, I'd say it's like a culture exchange disguised as a party. So we have a lot of different cultures um, kind of coming together to create this crazy experience. Yeah. Um, and we started in Atlanta. Mm -hmm. um, and this is our first time doing it in Tokyo. So yeah, I like the explanation. But first, let's give Steph a chance. Yeah. What, what, you guys going to fight? fight here that's, oh but that's not what trap sushi is actually yeah, it's like you could read my my aura because i was like what multiple cultures well two different two, cultures two yeah, yeah. specific we focus specifically on two although i have kind of thought about branching out a little bit but um essentially it's just fusing at atlanta pop culture and japanese pop culture and that's so people say like why is it called trap sushi and, well trap trap music originated in Atlanta, Georgia, and sushi originated in Japan. So when you think of both, you think of those two respective uh, locations, and that is what trap sushi is. Oh, uh, that's a good that's that's a good explanation of the name. <laughs> mm -hmm. Trap, okay, so trap music, Atlanta. Yeah. So you usually yeah. think Atlanta. So it's like Atlanta, Japan. Yeah. Mm -hmm. She was yeah. two like kind of cultural icons that to yeah. label trap sushi. Yeah. Which, it throws people off though when they hear the trap part, they're like, ooh. Trap music? Yeah. Trap music <laughs> like, we sushi. play all music. Yeah, no, we do play all music, yeah. No, yeah, speaking of all music, I mean, so you guys have this event here, but before we talk about the event, I'm still curious about trap sushi, right? And so for for our fans, like most of our fans are anime fans and yeah. things like that, and they like, you know, anime music. So yeah. can you explain a little bit like what's trap music and how is that even so, you know, an Atlanta thing? You know, so yeah, so trap music was, I think the first time I ever heard about that was with T.I. Mm -hmm. um, okay. When T.I. was rapping and he um, he had an album come out and I think that was, and I, I'm, I'm, don't quote me, but I think he may have started the phrase. Mm -hmm. Yeah. T.I. is pretty much the, like the founding person yeah, of trap music. Of trap okay. music. Yeah. And, um, you know, we, we, with us taking Atlanta pop culture, that's, yeah. you know, one of the more popular forms is trap. Mm -hmm. Granted, we do play all forms of music there yeah. as well. Um, but we just say, oh, trap, that's going to symbolize us, the Atlanta culture that we're yeah. bringing. And the sushi is going to symbolize the Japanese culture that we're bringing. Because, mm -hmm. you know, if you come to a trap sushi, you know, everyone's dressed up in cosplay. Yeah, yeah, and yeah. we have cosplay competitions. Yeah. You know, we have video game lounge. So people are there playing video games. So uh, we're yeah, having, doing this all in this. Pub, in a like club in a yeah so the one we did here mm -hmm. uh, because we're on the other side of the world yeah we're able to have all the dynamics that we normally mm -hmm. have inside of trap sushi but the ones in atlanta it's a video game lounge uh cosplay competition and it's, it's all like a club we have a sushi yeah. chef sushi chef in there and, and make the sushi live and it's a party it's sushi too. Yeah. yeah that that's that's the part that i'm a little bit like i'm like that's kind of crazy yeah like, sushi, like not even here in Japan have I been to a club where you can eat sushi in a club. <laughs> mm -hmm. At least I haven't been to it. Yeah. Like that. So that that's that's crazy. And okay, so like so our fans are probably gonna be wondering like what happened to your voices? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> like they're like, well, you guys got some deep voices. <laughs> so, Lots of screaming. Yeah, yeah, yeah right. It's so because like... yesterday y'all had a like a crazy event, and then yeah, we're we're not in Atlanta right now. Like so, yeah. you guys threw this club all the way in the other side of the world. Yeah. Right, we're like in Japan. Right? <laughs> we're in Japan in in Tokyo, in the capital of Japan, and you had a trap sushi trap sushi event here mm -hmm. last night. Yeah. yeah. From and the, and the crazy thing is, it's not it's it's Thursday. Well, now it's Friday, right? Yeah. So it's Thursday. It's not even the weekend. It's nothing. Like I was like, what? It's it's the middle of the week. It's not even the weekend. How are they gonna have this event here? <laughs> but I was like, okay, let me. I gotta go check this out because there's there's Atlanta culture in Japan. Yeah. yeah. And it was crazy. Like there was mad people in there. Yeah. Y'all was on the mic screaming. Yeah. Which is the reason why they had, their voice is gone. You want to know something funny though? Um, Trap sushi started on Thursdays. 
Oh, we really? just started doing weekends like oh, last crazy. year. Yep. Yeah, okay. for an anime convention. Yeah, so we've always had Trap Thursdays. Sushi on a Thursday yeah. in a brewery, actually. Yeah. Really? Yeah. Our three was the first time we've ever done an event at a club. Yep. Yeah, so you were, you were mentioning that like, you kind of take, that you, normally you guys take like other like event spaces yeah. or just kind of a restaurant or like mm -hmm. a We just reformat it. Yeah. And, and you make turn it, it like into like a club. We take all we the We did elements. a warehouse. Yeah. We did a block party. Like oh. bring in the oh. lights, bring yeah. in like a fog machine, have a stage, That's you know. Crazy. Do you guys bring the games and stuff with yeah. you too? Uh, well, the, and I believe you because like you, I mean, y'all brought, Atlanta here to Japan, which is crazy. Like it wasn't just. So I was thinking when I think we talked or we we're talking a week, like a few weeks ago yeah. or months ago about like this was the event that's about to happen in Japan. But I was thinking, okay, Troop's gonna come here by himself, and you know, then I don't know <laughs> what yeah. you're gonna do here. I thought you're just gonna come here and then just be like on the microphone, hey, this is Trap Sushi. Yeah. But no, like y'all brought like. You brought the whole culture with you. Brought rappers. You brought MCs. You brought like some dope influencers, yeah. like Keats and Z's and everyone, like yeah. all these people that I'm used to seeing when I go back to the states. But they're like here in Japan yeah. with you. I was like that. And y'all brought cosplayers. Yeah. Y'all yeah, brought everything. Like, that was crazy. Yeah. So t <laughs> tell me, like, how did you guys even decide to even want to start? Like, I mean, were you just one day in Atlanta eating sushi and you were like trap sushi? I don't know. Like, what? Like, how would you even think oh. about? So I so I, I used to um, songwrite for um, Atlantic Records, oh, okay. um, and while I was out in LA, I ended up running into this guy who worked for um, Airbnb. He was doing he was over the, their events. Yeah. They, excuse me. They had just launched doing events for people that were traveling. He yeah. asked me, did I want to be over the concerts in Atlanta? I said, yeah. yeah. So he um, that's how I got into throwing events because I was just okay. an artist. Yeah. Started throwing events. You know, some were profitable, some were not. Yeah. Um, and we got together and she took me to my first anime convention, which was Momocon. Okay. Yeah. yeah. No, it wasn't Momocon. Anime Week in Atlanta. Oh, excuse me. Anime Week in Atlanta. Anime Week. And I saw it. I was like, yo, this is amazing. And I'm like, dang, I wish, you know, I didn't know there's many, this many people that like anime like yeah. I did. And I was like, dang, I need to, I want to do something where we can hang out. And um, that's kind of how we came together with the first one. And I think we had like 25 people. Yeah, like 25, okay. yeah. 30 people then, in a small bar. Yeah. Wow, and then the crazy. last one we did last year, that was our biggest one. We had around like three, 4K. So at that time, out. it wasn't. So when you first started at this small bar, yeah. it wasn't called Trap Sushi. Yeah, it, it was. So it was still called it Trap Sushi. It was, but it, it looked nothing like how it does yeah. now. Okay. Like after that one, we... Um, we kind of like completely, well, not The completely. pandemic stopped yeah. us. Yeah, the pan yeah, so the first one was February 2020, and then COVID happened, and yeah. we shut down. We didn't come back till July 2021, but mm -hmm. by the time we came back, it looked different. It looked yeah. more like what it looks like now. Yeah. Oh, okay. We had a time yeah. to kind of like. Yeah, 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 to kind of like. We had some time to kind of really sense. think yeah. about what you like and mm -hmm. what you want to include yeah. in out and, and how do you make it bigger. Yeah. yeah. So you're, so Stephanie, you're. The anime fan, the, the, or at least in this year. So we both yeah. are. No, oh, okay, yeah. you're both. I think, are. Well, that, I think that's why. I think like, I'm more of an anime fan. Oh, oh yeah, okay. he he's he he watches more recent anime than I do because I just don't have the time anymore like I used yeah. to. But um, what's really like interesting is when we started Trap Sushi and we started seeing people come. Mm -hmm. That was when I realized that there were so many black people that liked anime because yeah. I thought it was just like us and maybe a few other people. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Just and like, we you started know, meeting. Yeah. People. You got some oddballs in yeah. Atlanta. Yeah. yeah. Like, just like, okay. And then like people started showing up to the event and the events started getting larger and larger. And I was like, I did not know so many <laughs> black people liked anime. That's, that's a really good point because I often talk about that because, like, yeah, I feel like I'm in a bubble here in yeah. Japan. Like, so obviously we're in anime world, right? Yeah. But the way that like black culture interacts with other things is always so different. And then when I went back to the States and then I saw how black culture interacted with anime, that was actually my first time even like with just going to some of the cons there. Yeah. And then just seeing like, I was like, I felt like, I was like, whoa, this is crazy. Like it was just, it was an experience that I wasn't expecting because yeah. I, I was just, I'm here in Japan. I've been here like 20 years, right? Yeah. And so I, I felt, I think that's so interesting. I feel like you're, what you guys are doing, like we said, like a cultural exchange. Yeah. And I feel like, like black folk are really good at that. Yeah. Like yeah. taking our culture, infusing it and creating like a new culture. Yeah. Right? Like this like culture of anime. And so like so tell me about that. Like tell me how you hope to use trap sushi and I don't know, change this change the culture 
so that like yeah that we're just not our balls in in this space but at the same time i, I don't know like if, if my question is no i think I, I think i understand what you're saying um and you know a lot of the times you know I, I i feel like that because you know in the past it wasn't you know while they talked about it wasn't oh super super popular as, it, as it's becoming now people who are like anime fans or video game fans they yeah. just stayed in their houses and that's kind of you know you know, oh, I don't have a group of people to hang out with because I'm the only one who likes this. You know, yeah. I'm from Mississippi and there were literally only two other people, mm -hmm. you know, in the whole city that I lived in that I knew watched anime, two yeah. other black people, you know. And so we, we hung out together and we would always play games and stuff together. But yeah. a lot of people didn't have those two other people yeah, or yeah, any yeah. other people. Exactly. It was just them. People that they can share their hobbies with. Or yeah, their, their which like for sucks. Mm -hmm. You know, so that's one of the things I hope that the party has been able to do is like all these people bringing people you know, together. We can come to churches. We can go play video games. We can talk about anime. Yeah. It's like I'm, a lot of people have told me that they've either gotten into anime or found mutual friends that are interested yeah. in the things they like just from coming to the party. And I hope that's yeah. what it can continue to be a safe space for people who like these things that other people may not, you know, may have called you nerd yeah, or yeah. lame. And but you can come here. One thing that one of my close friends told me. Mm. When he came, when we were when I doing this, he was like, he's like, dang, man, I'm cool everywhere else, but I didn't wear a costume. And then I, I felt <laughs> yeah. like I was like, like I was lame. Like, <laughs> that's so, funny. So, that's so funny. And I was like, wow, that's, that's dope. Yeah, yeah. That's like, dope. you know, like you're a bling and like, this, like, you know, he's a man anywhere else, but then he comes with yeah. these people in cosplay and nerds and stuff. And yeah. it's like, actually, I'm not like, cool. Like, yeah, yeah what's going on? What happened? Yeah, what kind of world? Of, yeah. <laughs> the world's flipped. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. And so that, I think the I culture just, of cool has like been flipped mm, upside down. Yeah. And, it, and it has, though, as it pertains to anime. Yeah. Before that was something like if you were a black person, you kind of hit it. Yeah. And now it's way more mainstream. It's it in hip hop. It's yeah. NFL. Like everybody's yeah. talking about it now. Everyone's talking about it. You see, like, yeah, favorite basketball player wearing like anime yeah. and things. Like, they got like, characters on their shoes and things. Yeah, and I'm like, were you always into this? Yeah. Were you just like hopping now on the you're train? Now trying, you're trying you to know? get in the cool, in the, into, the, exactly. into our circle, right? Exactly. But, but that's also yeah. a really big conversation oh, in the okay. anime community, like, especially in Atlanta, when we have these anime inspired events. Yeah. You know, sometimes people do get a little upset when they see. It's not, it's not that it's outsiders that are coming into the community. It's people who don't respect the yeah. community and they're trying to put themselves in it because they want to make money. They just want to make money. Yeah. They just want to use. They, they want to use they, like, yeah. yeah, they want to take advantage of the hype. Yeah, yeah. But they don't know anything about these and people. They don't respect like appreciating, them. Appreciating, yeah. appreciating yeah. the art, appreciating the stories that exist in this and, and, then, and then showing it actually in a good light, right? Because they don't know anything about it. They don't. No, you know, that's, yeah. that's, that's a good point. Like, you know, I try not to get too like controversial, yeah. right. but but it, but that is that is a really good point. Like I, I always think that the best thing is that everyone takes what we do, yeah. right? Takes this anime and takes uh, like even rap culture and everything, right? And trap music, and then hopefully everyone can appreciate it. Yeah. Right? Yeah. Hopefully everyone listens to it. Hopefully everyone watches it. Hopefully, like no matter how much they like it, right? Or or. Yeah, like they don't need to be a hundred percent a fan. Yeah. So, so I think it's cool when you get people jumping on the bandwagon if they can help spread what we're mm -hmm. doing. But at the same time, I can see how there can be some like negative mm -hmm. like drawback to it, right? Yeah. Because if it's like, okay, they're putting out the wrong type of imagery, right? Yeah. Or if it's only, yeah. you know, if, even with hip hop, right? They're just using gangster rap only, yeah. right? You're like, well, no, like hip hop used to be something that brought communities together, right? And so it's not only about stabbing people and shooting people. Yeah. Right? Yeah. So no, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. I, I understand that. And. But to bring it back to the the lighter side yeah, of our yeah, conversation, yeah. I mean, that's, he kind of like he kind of gave a really good example of that. His friend that showed up, I don't think his friend really watched anime, but yeah. he was just like immersed in the experience. He's like, yeah. "Wow, this is cool." So yeah. it's like that's what we want to do for people. See, trap sushi is open to everyone. So you know, if you like anime, come. If you like to party, come. Yeah. If you like music, come. If you don't even watch anime, but you're just curious to see, like, what is, why does everyone keep talking about this? Yeah. Then oh, then come. Come. Yeah. Then come. Yeah. 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 Come. And then it's like, no, I think that's so dope. Like, because, yeah, you, you get people who are going to be here and they're mm -hmm. in this party and they don't know, they don't know anything about the other person's likes or culture, right? Mm -hmm. And now you got all these different cultures that are just like mixed up. And I think that's, I think that's the dope thing about black culture, though. We just mix up things. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And then we make a new culture, like yeah. a dope culture. And then we take that and we go to the next level, right? Mm -hmm. yeah.
that's what Trap Sushi is doing. Hey, it does help that the people who come have amazing cosplay. Yeah. I mean, their cosplay is good. Well, that, that was the thing that, so yesterday when we went to your event, like, th that was crazy. Because, like, we use, normally, like, if we go to a club or whatever, you go in, you hear the music playing, and there's the security, and then, you know, you get, you go into the club. But the first thing that I noticed when we went to the Trap Sushi was, like, okay, this is a club event, a club space. But there was anime playing. Mm -hmm. yeah. Like, but the crazy thing is, like, yeah, no one looked at it weirdly. Like, no one was like, "Why is that playing on the mm -hmm. wall?" Yeah. Everyone walked in. They look at the wall. And was like, oh, that's dope. And then you're yeah. you know, looking at, oh, I know that. That's from Jujutsu Kaisen. Yeah. And it just kind of it kept it moving into the club, which is pretty cool. Yeah, man, yeah. blending so, it all. So what do you? So maybe it's my last question. So what do you? What do you guys think? Like, so you started Trap Sushi in when was it? Twenty twenty. Mm -hmm. So now four years later. You're all the way in the, on the other side of the world. Yeah. Is, it, is this what you're hoping Trap Sushi would have been? Like, did you have this image back then, four years ago? I didn't think we'd be in it, Tokyo, it, I'm gonna no, be honest with I, you. I, I mean, I always knew I wanted to do something great. You know, one of the, I don't know, not, not sure if you're familiar, but there's this brand called uh, Lyrical Lemonade. No, um, no. I'm, um, and I, I, I'm, I'm uh, a big fan of their owner, but um, pretty much the Lyrical Lemonade is a company that started out as a blog. Oh, okay. And then they started shooting music videos for these famous rappers. And yeah. in Forest Sport now, they have their own like music festival and they actually oh, wow. sell lemonade. Okay. Um, yeah. But uh, I cool. mean, I'm, 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 now that I, I feel like we can travel and move in these spaces and we acquire this fan base, I just yeah. want to be able to, you know, keep a safe space for people, but also like let's tap into these different other like, um, Let's tap into it in different ways. Like, you know, we want to start like a, a music arm yeah. where we're having these musicians, but it's like all these people we have love anime. Yeah, yeah, they love yeah. this type of culture. So that's how they reference in their music and their music videos and things like that. You know, we want to keep moving. Like, I don't know. I feel like now that we're ready to Tokyo, I'm like, dang, the sky's the limit. Sky, right? Yeah, yeah. There, there's anything. Like, can, yeah. can, we, can we do our own music festival? Can we? Yeah get into video games, you know, can we get that, right? you know, yeah, yeah, like, yeah, yeah. want to do as many as, like, things we can but also the avenues that's out there be just, focused with it. Just, just, like, just go and discover all of them. Yeah. yeah. Stay focused. Is there anything that you want to do, Stephanie, with Trap Sushi? Mm, well, I guess initially I, I didn't agree, but maybe a convention would be cool. Yeah. Trap Sushi Con. Trap Sushi Con. That could be crazy. You guys hear it first? <laughs> <laughs> Trap Sushi Con's coming. <laughs> That's a big feat, but yeah, I mean, good. but we got to Tokyo and I yeah. thought that was really major too, so. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, I think it'd be dope. And then like, I feel like you already have your own niece, like your con, would, I guess would be, I mean, I don't want to just decide what, what your Trap Sushi Con is no, going to be. But actually, what I think it's going to be is music <laughs> and you, it definitely needs to be focused on hip hop and yeah. have rap artists out there. No, I'm just kidding. Yeah, <laughs> it's about right. Like, it's like we would be taking Trap be Sushi working anyway. backwards. Like, because mm. like Trap Sushi was influenced by going to cons. So if we did a Trap Sushi Con, we'd just be reversing it. Yeah. And bring the party back to the convention. I think that'd be that crazy. That would take a con and bring the party One massive black, yeah. par like black party, block party. Yeah. But that, was, that was a 40 and slip though. Yeah. <laughs> one massive, one black, massive black party. One massive yeah. black party. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh, man. That's dope, man. Yeah, I'm, I'm excited. Yes, yes. I think we got some yeah. cool stuff going. And we're going to keep it going. We're going to keep it going. Yeah. As we always say here, Staji ga daiji. So we always end it. We got Trap Sushi in Japan. Appreciate you guys. Thank you for coming. All the way out here bringing Atlantic culture to Japan. Hey, thank, thank you. So you. Arigato. 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 Arigato.